So the next step of the adventure is to actually go out and do some sea testing. And the best place for us to do that is probably down at Brown Sea on the south coast of England. Uh, so it's relatively sheltered there. It's quite shallow. It's not a lot of big waves. And what it will allow us to do is do a circumnavigation of the island, which is about three miles. So we can test the south navigation. We can test how it sits in the water. We can test the propulsion. All of those things really just to see whether we've got a boat that's actually up to the, the proper seas. <laughs> I love the smell of PLA in the morning. Cool down, Pink. It's very stressful. I'll tell you what, like, we could get a Wispy hair look for you. Wispy hair look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that. That. <laughs> <laughs> the whole design process was. Uh, quite a lengthy journey and at one point we got to where we were deciding which route we would take in terms of propulsion. We, we, we spent a lot of time at Kinetic working out that single thrusters and rudders didn't work and then we spent a lot of time in Reading looking at uh, differential thrusters and some of the issues with those. That was very tricky and Richard had to do an awful lot of work. And we are still debating that right now and we're looking at two different methods. Then we started experimenting with jet drives. So that's why we've got two parallel builds on today. Uh, so we can test them on the water tomorrow and then the big brown sea adventure on Tuesday. We had a bit of a spaghetti junction of cables before and things going on. So Richard has designed a whole kind of new solution. Yeah, we've taken the uh, electronic speed controllers, put them in a separate module which goes on the bottom of the boat, um, so it's in contact with the water to keep them cool. Because we kept getting uh, boat fires, because the ECUs were getting super hot inside the boat, we decided to mount them in the water. There's a connector here which goes for the to the Raspberry Pi. There's two antennas for the uh, a radio control. There's the uh, telemetry antenna. So we've gone through a few iterations of the props, haven't we? I mean, it's great now that they're interchangeable. One of the choices we've had to make, make all the way through this is different materials. And so we've moved back to, uh, to using uh, PLA and uh, that gives us the, a much better thrust. And with the batteries in, so we're using these big, Lead acid batteries, they're pretty heavy. Uh, they also act as the ballast, right? So not only is it powering it, but it also ballasts the boat as well. Yeah, RS. <laughs> so what we're going to do today, um, we're going to finish off Dory. Um, we're going to put some mounts on like this. This allows us to pull motors on and off. So if we throw a motor or break a prop, we can literally just pull one out and pull one in. And uh, we've also put an emergency shut off switch which we need to drill out here uh, because when everything's sealed on and the lid's on and if things catch fire, we can quite easily just turn the thing off and isolate all the power. So that's it, so that's the plan for today. Um, put that boat together, get it ready for the sea and uh, we're ready to roll. Right. Like, we pretend like we're friends. <laughs> 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 Gary's come up with this awesomely crazy idea to build a jet boat. Uh, so we'll basically have water sucking in and pushing out like a traditional jet. But let's, Gary can tell you all about that. So Gary, what are you doing today? So this is differential thrusting. One moves more than the other and it twists around. Um, we, we've had a lot of problems trying to program this. So, um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the uh, inlet here and we're gonna have the diffuser here and a little prop going around in the, in the middle and we're just going to see what it gives us and it should also um, simplify um, some of our steering because um, rather than having to perfectly balance out two motors we're just changing the thrust vector so it should be a lot simpler um, so that's why we've got two parallel builds on today and we're going to try and get them done for today uh, so we can test them on the water tomorrow and then the big brown sea adventure on Tuesday. We've got some radio gear here as well, which Arun, who's also a fellow at Ica Hack Space, is going to help with. And we've got a, a quite a beefy motor on this one, um, which is a lot bigger than the thruster engines that we're using on, on the other design. So this is probably going to be pretty quick.
I think there's going to be a lot of prototyping, R&D and experimentation during the course of putting this together, so it should be pretty fun. Okay, so we're going to test the whole setup for the first time. So we've got the radio on and we've got everything set up here. So Arun, if you can hold the battery and plug that in, then I'll hold the motor. Okay. So, okay, our servo's working, that's moving. And motor. Hey. Right, so that means we can uh, hook everything up. Okay, so now that our shaft is ready, we just have to grind down the edges here. We're gonna put on our propeller this way. We're gonna put on the nozzle. And then the motor will fit in here. And there you have it. More American. What? How is it supposed to be more American than that? And there you have it, y'all. Finished assembly. <laughs> Right. The, the other thing that we've done is we've 3D printed the, uh, the prop in a different material. So this is a, a little bit stronger and, and you can see that that quite happily spins around in there. And we've got our new bearing rods in place. So now we're just going to assemble everything up. So. Okay, so we've got the, the motor shaft all hooked up and the electronics still in place. I'm just going to screw the, the nozzle on. Uh, we put some brass inserts in here which we just melted into the PLA. Pretty much the whole assembly now in place. That seems to be spinning, spinning okay. If I was going to say, oh, what do you think a drone bo boat looks like? Uh, an autonomous drone boat. I mean, this is getting close to what I would think an autonomous yeah. drone boat might, yeah. might look like. Yeah. So, so we got the big brown sea adventure on Tuesday and we're kind of hoping one of these will work. <laughs>